of a, no. Hey everybody, Abby here with another interesting topic that I thought could be addressed after reading some comments online on some different uh, cosplayers' websites. They were talking about how to get sponsored. And for those of you who aren't aware, I work a lot in this sphere for Logitech G because I'm their social media manager. So part of that is figuring out, hey, who would be a cool person to partner with on this project? Who would be cool to talk about this product? Um, that's something that I've, I've done a lot in my job. And it's also when I'm at a convention, one of the number one things that people come and find me for at the booth, they're like, hey, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. Um, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. I, I don't even know how cool I am. And uh, I kind of want you to give me some money. Not exactly. But a lot of people, they see the success of streamers like PewDiePie, like uh, Jericho, like cartoons, like tons and tons of streamers are, are online that have turned their hobby, their passion into a living. They pay the bills by streaming. They pay the bills by promoting products. And they know that in order to succeed, they need a healthy sponsorship with larger companies. A lot of times this can be tech companies, this could be food companies, this could be tea, this could be clothing, this could be whatever it is. Influencer marketing is what it's called. And that is really the way brands are reaching customers nowadays. If you think about on your computer, you have an ad blocker. That ad blocker blocks out most ads, so you're not gonna click on the ad. So companies need to figure out how to reach their consumers. Influencers are one of those ways. Here's the hard truth though. Most of the time, people aren't gonna wanna partner with you. Why? A, budgets. Okay, that's the first reason most of the time. Companies do not have tens of thousands of dollars just to throw at people if they don't know that they're gonna actually return on that investment. Why would somebody give you $5 if you're just gonna turn around and walk away? You wouldn't do that. You'd be like, okay, I just gave you $5. Give me an ice cream cone. Okay, you gave me an ice cream cone. Ah, here's your $5. Capitalism, that's how it works. So, how do you get partnered? Or better yet, how do you not get partnered, sponsored, and or build a relationship with a brand? I'm so glad you asked. Number one, don't send an email that basically says, give me money. Just don't do it. If you're gonna approach your brand, whether you're in person, online, etc., make sure you send a professional message across. You don't want to be sending messages with riddled with spelling errors and, and punctuation. That doesn't mean that a brand is probably expecting an essay, but you want to at least show that you're serious about it. Are you sponsor is not a professional message to send. Love it faces, but it's not the internet. It's not. Approach a brand with information. What type of brand are you? Or influence are you? What what do you, what platforms are you on? Are you on Twitch or on YouTube? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? How would you your partnership with that company be beneficial to both parties? What could you, the the influencer, give to the company? Could you give a tutorial video? Could you give a high resolution photos? Do you have a large audience? Now speaking about audiences. Just because you have high followers, million followers on Facebook, million followers on Twitter, does not mean that you will get partnered. Why? Because it doesn't matter how many followers you have nowadays. Sad truth. Most people online that have high follow follower count that have grown rapidly in a period of time have purchased their fan base. I know people are like, oh no they don't. There are ways to tell. And most people, any marketing department worth their salt can tell that. Most of the times you can see certain numbers, but the number one way to tell is how high a person's engagement rate is. An engagement rate is how many comments they're getting, how many shares they're getting, how many likes on a piece of content, which is a post, a picture, a video that they're getting. What companies will ask for that. What, so provide it. So when you're approaching a company, be like, hey, I'm so-and-so. I love to game on Twitch. That is my most successful platform. I have this much engagement rate, or I engage, I have this many followers, a thousand followers per viewing session. Um, if you are already an affiliate or partnered with a brand, say, hey, I made 
Joe Schmo T-shirt company a thousand dollars in two weeks. That gives that gives the company a baseline for how successful you have been online. The other thing is to give examples of what you do online. Yeah, give links to your YouTube videos or to your Twitch streams or to your photos. Now, here's a big one. Don't be a dick. Sometimes it's just not in the budget for the company. They can't afford to pay anybody because it's the end of the quarter and that's just it. They can't. Sorry, it's nothing personal. Don't respond negatively because that's a way to get blacklisted not only from one company but marketers talk. Just like any, just like if you leave a review on Yelp. Well, there might not be a marketing Yelp, but that's a good idea. People will say, "Ooh, don't think you want to work with Mr. Prissy Pants because, gosh, he's prissy." Just be a good person. Be nice to your followers. Be put out great content. And that's the other thing is make sure that the things you're trying to share, the things you're trying to create in order to get that partnership are well crafted. Don't just do a cell phone video unless that's what the company has asked for. Also, ask the company what their goals are. It's like, well, are you trying to sell a product or are you trying to grow awareness for your brand? Also, know your value. Um, as a as a as a person who, you know, you, if you are an influencer, know, have an idea of your worth. Don't sell yourself short. If you're going to spend six hours and, you know, create a new costume or, or create some content or create uh, something for this company, make sure that you're valuing your time. If you have the value to give, if you have a hundred followers on Twitter, you are obviously not going to get paid as much as somebody with a hundred thousand followers with high engagement rates. That's just the way it goes. You have to, it's called return on investment. You have to provide a reason why you would have a high return on investment for a company. So that's kind of a basic overview of how not to get sponsored and how you might be able to get sponsored. It won't always work. I'm disclaimer here. Disclaimer. <laughs> Different companies are different. Different companies have different guidelines. Different companies have different backgrounds. And in my experience across all the different companies, I'm not just speaking for my current situation, that's actually no reflection on this. Showing your best face, showing your most, the added value you can add will help, but it's not always the case. Different companies have different circumstances. So let's cover how not to get sponsored. Don't send an unprofessional email. Don't be a dick. Don't have unrealistic expectations. How to get sponsored. Send a professional email with your metrics and examples of your content. Be authentic, be honest, and have a great attitude. So, yeah, give me money.